Welcome, uh, uh, square. <laughs> Welcome, Aries. This is your um, um, season reading for the Aquarians. Okay. All right. The season is from the 20th of January until the 18th of February. We have four weeks. Okay. So, um, this is wonderful. Please remember, um, as you go through these readings, you need to recognize which one of the symbols you are going to be using. So these readings are based on abundance, money, and prosperity. It is the flow of how your money is going to be going. Um, the choices that you make in the season is how it's going to be affecting your financial flow. Um, so let's go in this. So, so we have two or four, which is six. Now that is good. Um, six in abundance reading is a very, very good. It's about your materialistic Seville and the four of pentacles is upright. So this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. Okay. So Aries, you are having some sort of a help from the Aquarians, um, the Aquarians are your opposite side. This is good. It is a wonderful um, energy because we have uh, two um, of ones, which is some sort of an offer. And the four of pentacles. And this is going to be good. So um, number six is going to be your energy vibration. Use six in whatever way you can. If it's your unlucky number, do not use it. If it's your unlucky number, do not use it. A lot of you are going to be dealing um, with um, one person. This person could be your boss. It is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. And you're going to be finding out a whole lot of secrets over your, your organization or over your, your company at the end of the four weeks. So let's go in and look at this two of ones. Now, the two of ones is always really good. It's Mars in Aries. Two of Wands is Mars in Aries. Now, when the energy of Mars comes, it's all about work. So it is going to be some sort of a job offer coming in the week of uh, the 20th until um, the 27th, 26th, the 20th until the 26th. There is some sort of a job offer is going to be coming in. So this is wonderful because whenever Aries is in Mars, this is about uh, Mars, uh, you are the Aries, okay? And Mars is your zodiac sign. So this is good for you, Aries. This is about a lot of you, Aries, are going to be receiving some sort of a job offer, promotion, that sort of a thing is going to be coming up. So you are starting out this Aquarian season in a very, very positive note, when we look at the King of Cups, the energy of the King of Cups um, is fire of water. So this person is uh, 50, 45 years, 50 years and older, fire of water. And a lot of you are going to be taking on this energy, this energy of fire of water. You're going to be taking on this energy. And if you notice, um, you have the power of the ones in your hands. You have the cups. So you're balancing out uh, um, your emotional feelings and you have the energy of the fish. Now, this energy of the fish is always about money. So a lot of you could be receiving some sort of a management position, but you're not reigning with the ego. You're reigning with both um, um, passion, but also emotion. And that is good. So you're balancing out, and this is a really, really positive time for you, um, Aries, because you're really balancing out this time. You're using the emotion, but yet still your passion in creating whatever you want to create, and this is going to be good. As you look, there is a lot of fishes, uh, and there's a lot of sea shells, which is pearl. So you could be using your creativity in order to manifest a lot of materialistic wealth in your world. And this is going to be good for you, Aries. A lot of money could be coming up for you, Aries. Maybe it is dripping in, but it's okay. Um, money is going to be there for you, Aries, in this season. So this is a really wonderful season. So some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion man. This could be a boss or 
and someone who is going to be offering you some sort of a, a financial stability and this person is going to be coming in in the second week and that is the 27th the week of the 27th until the 2nd of February so wonderful wonderful alignment of energy there is no question about this this is going to be absolutely absolutely good as we look at the fourth week the fourth week is another positive energy the four of pentacles is in the upright so this is going to be good um there's absolutely no question about this this is the sun in Capricorn, the sun in Capricorn. Now, when we have the energy of the sun in Capricorn, this is about financial stability. So this is going to be good. So again, another positive energy, Aries. This, this season is giving you, Aries, so many um, opportunities that is going to be coming up for you. And the sun in, uh, in Capricorn is very good when you have... Uh, this energy of money and it is uh, in the upright position. This is financial stability. It's holding on on your money. It's creating your wealth, but holding on on it and not giving it away, but saving. So I see in the third week, some of you are going to be holding on to your money, whatever is coming up or transpiring. You're not going to be depleting your money because you're going to be recognizing, I need to hold this money, hold on to this money because I don't know about tomorrow, but I know that I have it today. Or in this um, Aquarian season, and I'm going to be using it and holding on to it. So this is going to be a really positive alignment of energy where you're going to be recognizing how beautiful this is and how you're going to be creating and holding on to your financial stability. So this is going to be a really, really positive stability that is going to be coming in because um, financially you're going to be stable and this is going to be bringing you to a place where you recognize that you have been depleting yourself by um, helping others with your financial stability. And I see you're going to be bringing this back in, um, in alignment of energy. So when we have the energy of the moon, this is linked with Pisces, okay? But actually, the energy of the moon is, deal, is, is with um, Scorpion and Pisces. Scorpion and Pisces seems to share a lot in common. And this is very good. So it's all about this. The, the moon energy is all about the instinct, the emotion, your dreams, the imagination, your creativity, the cycle and rhythm. And this is like a female energy because remember the moon um, governs the cancer. So a lot of you could be dealing with a cancer man. Whoever this cancer man is, a lot of you, I see some sort of a offer is going to be coming up for from a cancer man for some of you or um, a cancer man could be offered something and you Aries not. So a lot of you are dealing with a cancer man, okay? And some of you are going to be recognizing in the last week that there is some sort of an imbalance situation that is happening and transpiring in your organization. And you're going to be recognizing some sort of a secrecy that was held in organization, a secrecy about a whole lot of money. Um, is it on your part, Aries? Is it that you, um, businessmen, have uh, gotten money from a, um, a cancer man or a Pisces man or an Aries man? Is it that there was some sort of a secret contract that you both have brought up? It is going to be coming out um, in the fourth week. So, you know, we, are, we, we really have to recognize, and this is the reason why, um, we do do really the season because a month and a season is different. And this is why we deplete ourselves by opening up and recognizing which one of these weeks. So the first week is going to be good. The second week is going to be good. And the third week. And the decision to make and apply for a job is the first week and the fourth week. Okay. So it is about... Uh, Aquarian, this Aquarian season is opening up opportunities for you, Aries. But it is a situation that also secret contracts is going to be opened up and people are going to be recognizing some sort of a secret contract that you have in the fourth week, 10th till the 16th. They're going to be recognizing that you, Aries, had some sort of a secret contract. And the secret contract could be with a Scorpion man, it could be with a Cancer man, or it could be with a Pisces man. And they're going to be recognizing that money was crossed to create these secret contracts. So this is the reason why I say to a lot of you, 
um, it is good to recognize uh, what is coming up and what is going to be transpiring because Aries, whatever is transpiring last year was very bad for you, Aries, but this year is looking up. And as we begin the year to look at the monthly energies and the season energies, we're recognizing how very good you can have it this year if you go within and figure out uh, and try to balance out things and do things in the correct way, then you will recognize how new doors of opportunities is going to be coming up for you guys. So some sort of a information, some sort of a secret contract that was created in the past in the week of the 10 to the 16th of February, it is going to be coming out and people are going to be recognizing this. And it is going to be showing up in such a way that you have to focus and recognize for yourself, hey, Whatever is happening and transpiring, I have to be the one to, um, you know, recreate whatever the issue and the problem is uh, in order to bring some sort of a balance in my world for my financial flow to flow. It is a month of good financial flow. It is a month that you need to take this, uh, um, not the, this energy in this Aquarian season. And use it in a proper way. I want to say to you guys, thank you so much. Please show your loves by thumbs up, thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe if you would like to um, see what is on the these four symbols. You need to um, connect with us by joining. And you will receive the messages. Choose one of these symbols. You can't choose more than one. You have to choose one of these symbols or whatever. Um, push you um, um, to choose it. And then you will receive the message. I gotta go. Namaste.